Hello my lovely Aries, I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be your weekly reading for the week of the 8th to the 14th. This week we're going to kind of rush through a little bit, okay that wanted to really come out. Um, just because I have family coming over and I'm also moving, so there's a lot going on. So, But I still want to show up for you guys because I enjoy my job, so it is a it is a blessing. But let's, let's carry on, let's dive into your reading my lovely Aries. So the, you do have the first card coming up, I am going to do what I normally do and pull two anyways from this deck on top of that because I wasn't quite ready for it but it was adamant on coming up this card has been coming up for everybody you have the fates okay which is really kind of telling me on a very collective level that the universe is really stepping in at the moment and fated things are happening okay sorry <laughs> you round and round and breathe so this was the first one that came up which is really big advice for you guys Aries this week that you are going to be quite sensitive to what's going on around you uh, whether that's people around you they're really calling for you to find your own space and to focus on yourself not anything around you maybe there's a bit of chaos I'm not sure whether they're just really trying to ground you towards focusing on this present moment focusing on your breath they're saying breathe everything is going to be fine focus on your own lily pad don't go thrashing around worried about what everyone else is doing focus on yourself maybe you're you know competing with others unintentionally but it's just coming up like oh I wish I was at a different point and everyone else seems to be you know moving faster than me whatever it is they're saying slow down all right you are an empath whoever i'm reading for so you're you know absorbing maybe some chaotic energy around you so this is a really good time to spend some time by yourself wherever you can to protect your energy to cool your focus back onto yourself on your own path um and to be able to actually come back to the breath breath work could be very important for you guys all right this week so if you if you feel called to do it absolutely do a meditation really helps you to get focused and present okay uh, and of course the fates representing the fact that this is a really good time to feel protected i don't know with this card i always say like she's kind of feeling like she's bathing in the energy she's happy and it's to do with the fate so you're happy with where you're being guided so come back to self uh i do feel like it's a really big time for everyone to surrender any issues and to feel a lot more guided it does feel like the universe is stepping in a lot for everybody this card has come up for almost everyone over the last few weeks so we're in a very fated time at the moment and you have round and round which is about karmic cycles um i'd be interested i don't know exactly what the karmic cycle is for you guys but round and round is about you know feeling like things aren't really changing and in order for things to change we have to really make a big change in something maybe that you've never done before and try something that you've never done before in order to get out of a cycle sometimes it shows up with karmic cycles with others so people in our lives who you need to stop trying to make it work with if you've done that a million times this is just not going anywhere and actually come out of that cycle in order to understand a lesson behind it and maybe the fact that something is just not going anywhere but let's have a little look and see what that is it doesn't have to be to do with love and relationships it actually could be anything it could even just be an energy that you're in in your life so again the advice for you i would say to surrender it yeah they're, show, they're trying to show me something and i just can't find a good way to put it into words but let's see what the rest of the cards will say for my lovely Aries, please, Spirit. I think that is the journey card. No, it's not, actually. It's the fifth chakra. It's about speaking your truth. Okay, and actually figuring out what that is. Living your truth, announcing yourself, who you are. You have a lot of this blue energy, which is the throat chakra. So if anyone can say anything about their throat chakra to help everybody out, go in the comments all right and guys read in the comments if anybody puts it there about what the throat chakra really is about because it's very important for you i know it's about speaking your truth living your truth understanding your truth and uh, not being worried about what other people have to say about it because it's your truth okay maybe for some of you it's about coming out your shell a little bit more or announcing yourself and not you know hiding in the shadows it's really about being present um and again not worried about what other people think about your truth your spiritual journey whatever it is i'm speaking very vaguely because it is very general and it is a general reading so however it applies in your life it will make sense to you if it doesn't maybe it's just not your reading um 
but it, this could be where the karmic cycle actually is, you know, sometimes you might, um, again, hide in the shadows or play it small around certain people. And, and in this way, there is almost this lesson to be learned about making sure that you are speaking and being of your authentic truth. You also have angel of balance, kind of similar to the brief card. Make sure that you are spending time to balance your energy, especially if you're working kind of a crazy chaotic job or deal with a lot of people's feelings on a daily basis. All right. Um, balancing is very important for you, but let's, let's carry on. Let's see what else is going to come up for you guys this week. For Aries, this could be calling for you to, again, like speak to somebody this week, speak your truth. Maybe that's something you guys need to do is let it out. If it's not about like forgiveness, not about forgiveness. If it's not about like actually speaking to a person who maybe there is some tension, writing it down or speaking it out loud always helps me <laughs> because it, like it's better that than to be left inside and never spoken of. So again, you are being called for some sort of communication, even if it's with oneself, right? You have self-worth and workaholics. So there is something about your work life uh, this week coming through. Maybe you are spending a lot of time uh, in your work and maybe that's causing a bit of stress. And in which case, make sure that you are also as much as you're working hard, playing hard too, all right? And you have self-worth coming through, which kind of goes in alignment with the um, third chakra of living your authentic truth. And in this case, understanding that you are worthy, okay? Regardless of what other people think about you, you are worthy. Maybe specifically in your work, maybe you're having a little bit of doubts about your your talents, your abilities, who you are, what it is that you do. In this case, they're saying you are made for this throne, see your own potential, and the world will reflect that back to you, okay? That's a good affirmation. <laughs> All right, let's carry on. What else do we have for you? All right, for my lovely Aries this week, keyword for them this week, please. forgiveness as if I I kind of picked up on that already you do have forgiveness this feels similar to that round and round um something that is a cycle that keeps coming up again or keeps coming to the same situation might need some forgiveness that they can of course be separate messages though so it is the key word for the week the affirmation for this is i acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love it's never about the other person it's absolutely everything about you and your energy resentment and anger i know i don't know if you guys feel it especially if you are a sensitive uh, person like i am negative feelings like anger or when I'm really mad at somebody or if I'm really hurt or I'm betrayed and I'm you know angry about it whatever I have resentment whatever oh I hate those feelings they are the worst I hate feeling bad uh, instead of just ignoring it and sweeping it under the rug though it's really important to address it okay and don't let those negative feelings fester and don't keep them there just for the sake of I don't want to forgive that person and they hurt me absolutely you shouldn't let them back into your life you're right with that and it's never about ex like saying okay you get away with it you know it's not about that it's about understanding that those feelings are harming you more than it's harming them you know it's about dr there's a for quote that they always show me quotes that I don't fully know but it's something about um kind of drinking the poison or something like that thinking it's gonna hurt the other person holding that resentment is never you know some people don't care if you're mad at them you some people are just like that I don't know who you're, you've dealt with um but it is about releasing that okay so that you are not blocking this beautiful energy of love and of positivity or of amazing feelings that you can just have in life don't allow resentment for others to block you from anything okay so it's more power to you okay than anything else you have change i understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement so change is absolutely happening this card actually really kind of looks a little bit like this um, just in a very different way so again in order to come out of a cycle something does need to change you are going to have to do something you've not done before in order to find a different solution to potentially uh, a long-winded problem okay but let's get you some more the lovely aries please spirit this week 
Pig spirit, use your mind wisely. Hawk spirit, I will show you guys. Let spirit be your guide. That is literally what the fates is speaking about. Okay, it is about sp kind of surrendering some things to the universe, understanding they're protecting you, they're guiding you someplace. Um, and you know, hawks have really good vision. Okay, so in terms of like seeking opportunities or seeking potential blockages in, in your path moving forward, allow yourself to understand that they will show you and they will guide you through whatever it is that you guys are dealing with. You're not alone. I right, feel like guided to say that to you. For any of you who feel that way, you absolutely do have spirit guides who are here for you, people in spirit, maybe even as well, who are here to guide you. All right, the first card that we actually had though from the animal spirit deck is the pig spirit. Use your mind wisely. Um, as everybody says, you know, your thoughts can manifest into your reality if they become a belief, all right, if it becomes an energy that you're vibrating at to make sure what you are, what you, what, make sure the energy that you're giving out is also the energy that you seek, okay, um, and then you have dragonfly spirit, truth transcends illusion, if there are any illusions going on around you, you absolutely, you're going to be able to see them for what they are the fifth chakra again being a chakra about truth your throat it does feel like maybe some of you are calling something out or accepting the truth about something and an illusion is being shattered okay whether that's in the mind if it's around you it's just something that's being uh definitely addressed definitely addressed this week all right some more my lovely aries please spare All right, this has been coming up a lot for people. Express love through gifts. Doesn't have to be anything money worth. You can just pick some flowers for somebody or just give them something that you wanted to get rid of. Um, express love through gifts. A small token, sorry, I can't speak. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. All right, whether you're receiving uh, something or giving something to others love is all around you all right there is love everywhere all the time simply acknowledge this as truth and take a chance on love when we love our lives are changed forever okay it's a beautiful energy to step into as well okay uh last oracle deck then we'll just quickly dive into the tarot for my lovely aries please any other messages for the week soulmate all right there's something about a soulmate here okay you have a few miracles is a card coming up for you guys this week which is amazing you have another confirmation about needing balance this week you have ideas and inspiration which is amazing amazing you have power as well and you have harmony which came up after soulmate here so there could be some harmony restored to do with your connections and relationships with others all right um ideas inspiration power and balance kind of goes back to that workaholic for some of you you might have a lot going on in your workspace a lot of ideas and a, you know wanting to put your power in there but they're also saying make sure that you're also looking after yourself and your emotional well-being your mental well-being as well but aside from that let's dive into the rest of your tarot i'm just going to quickly ask spirit please uh can you give us some cards for aries this week to give them the best advice or something they, they need to hear uh, for this week, please. Aries, thank you. And trust some of you. This could definitely be like an old friend or uh, we have a lot of feminine energy here. It is just an energy, it doesn't have to be a gender. But if you and somebody else have been in dispute, I definitely see that this is almost some sort of reconciliation happening. They came up like this and this card in the middle. Let me show you. So for some of you, this is a, and I'm getting another message as well. Hold on. So for some of you, you know, there, this five of pentacles is feeling at a loss or feeling left out in the cold. Uh, most likely maybe you're not speaking to somebody or, you know, you're, again, you're in dispute or whatever. I definitely do see that there is going to be some sort of communication maybe this is you seeing the truth of something and maybe that's what's happened here i don't know i don't know the situation but it does feel like potentially a conversation here or maybe bringing harmony into this uh connection but it's up to you i don't know what it what this is 
Okay. Now for you guys, when we have two kind of people cards, the way I see it is also parts of ourselves. So Queen of Wands is you anyway, Aries. This is the confident, fiery, uh, beautiful energy. But because we have the five of pentacles here, you might feel a little bit low at the moment. Um, maybe you're feeling like, like things are not kind of going very well for you or maybe you're feeling like doors are shutting in your face and that might be harming your confidence you also have the queen of cups as well which is about that sensitivity it's kind of similar to that breathe card all right about having heightened emotions i think that there is a lot maybe you're reflecting a lot again on this five of pentacles this kind of sense of abandonment or a loss in your life i'm gonna clarify for the lovely aries please five of pentacles the chariot the chariot is about balance to move forward so if this is somebody that you work with or you know or whatever it does feel like there is two opposing energies that are going to be coming into harmony helping something move forward chariot is about chasing dreams or goals so if this is someone that you're in a relationship with or someone that you have a connection with i do see that something is going to move forward and i think that's also your advice is to not worry about what's you know happened okay um the losses that you've experienced does not dictate the rest of your future okay it's, it's not you know it may actually even push us sometimes but in this case if there are some things that you're a bit worried about and there are some things that you are feeling um, upset about, I understand. Go through those feelings and emotions, help yourself to purge them, address them, but understand that your self-worth is not dependent on what you have been through, okay? Like if you've been through a loss in your life, like financially, keep that confidence, keep confidence as much as it may be tackled or kind of feel like you've made uh i'm hearing a little bit like um what's the word for it i don't know like maybe you've taken a hit to your confidence or something um the throne is still there okay and in fact in this card uh there is like a there's a story behind all of these cards and in this one sh only those who believe they are worthy are able to see the throne so it's almost like success is yours if you believe that you're worthy it's always there but it's almost like it depends on how you see yourself or how you view yourself that's important so if your confidence has been hit if your emotions have been a bit hit this is your focus this week okay i do see maybe there is also like some financial situation that you're a bit worried about but i absolutely feel like with a balanced queen of wands which is a part of yourself that is like passionate and uh positive and looks towards the sun towards growth towards it's like a growth mindset and also you're paying attention to balancing your emotions then this chariot is inevitable both of these parts of yourself or you and somebody else need to come together to see the goal in order to work together and move forward to kind of again like gain more abundance or whatever it is okay any other message for aries before we leave the knight of swords and the queen of wands again some of you will receive communication or you might be the one uh, making some sort guys i kid you not it's the same cards here <laughs> queen of cups and the queen of wands so the queen of wands came up with the knight of swords so there might be some communication or you might be called towards making some sort of communication or rushing forward towards something because of a goal the chariot chases the star so some of you might be pushing your pride aside making amends with somebody because it does kind of help you to move towards the goal it helps you to move towards maybe a better energy if you just have that conversation with that person regardless of what happens it's just you letting something off your chest or maybe it is about coming together i don't know your situation but clearly this needs to you feel that this needs to happen in order to move forward okay or in order to gain your passion back or in order to feel more confident and more powerful again to claim your power back maybe is to say something or to go towards something here all right this dream this goal sometimes it's also about community this card and healing so in order to heal something it does require um some truth which we have a lot of in your reading anyway 
okay my angels i wish you guys all the best i hope you guys enjoy your week please let me know if the reading resonates with you as well because i love to read the comments uh it makes me very happy when i get to read them so i'd love to see your name there but anyway i wish you guys all the best i hope you enjoy your week and i'll see you guys next time all right